This is a pimento cheese hot pepper burger on a King's Hawaiian bun. Call me crazy, but I think this is going to be an amazing, simple, messy, but delicious lunchtime snack, burger, snack, who cares? But let's get into it. We got our quarter pound burger patties seasoned up with some red beard seasoning barbecue rub. I really like this. It's not hot at all. It is award winning. He's entered a few contests. It's done really well. Um, and it's a really good flavor profile. I'll put a little thumbprint in the middle of these burger patties. I'm gonna try and see if that helps it from shrinking up a whole lot and uh, turning into a balloon. So we'll see how it turns out. Always using the cast iron in the house. We're gonna start stacking our burgers here. I'm gonna flip that one first. We're gonna need that grease. Stack it, so we need to make room. We're gonna take this King's Hawaiian bun and we're gonna put it in the grease. We're gonna fry this bun up a little bit, give it a little extra flavor. All right, I could have not put it straight in the grease. Got a little soggy, but it's gonna be full of flavor, so it'll actually still be pretty good. Got a little crust on this one here. Now it's time to make my sandwich. And we got it topped off with a special cheese, a pimento cheese from Palmetto Cheese Company. Wisconsin cheddar, southern pimentos. Damon says it's the bomb. I'm gonna trust him on this one. Got some hot relish on here from Caruso's Provisions. It's a Chicago caviar. It's their hot Jardini de Nera. Probably butchered that again. Peppers. I think it's gonna add a nice little tangy flavor to balance out this cheese. Here's what it looks like before we take the bite. That will work. Man, oh man. I have a feeling this is going to be a nice balance of flavor. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Mm. Exactly how I figured it. It's got the hotness from the peppers, the creaminess from the cheese. You got the sweetness from the burger and the savoriness from the actual burger. That is a really good burger. Uh, messed up a little bit on um, cooking the toasting the bun, so I'm gonna give my technique an eight and a half though, because I still use the burger grease. Uh, I'll give it 8.4, we'll lower it, round it down. But the flavor on this right here, I'm gonna give it easily a 9.1. I'm giving it a high score, real high score, because I just think it is an awesome one bite of a burger. And the longer I'm sitting here talking to you, the more that heat's starting to set in, but not too much. Absolutely perfect. We'll see you guys next time. Let's go.